Greetings guys, Law Architects here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Verus for Revit. So what is Verus? Verus is an AI powered tool that is used within your design process to dwell between uh, design options. You can download it directly on the Evolve Lab website. It works with SketchUp from 2021 up to the 2023 version and with Revit from the 2019 to the 2024 version and it also works with Rhinoceros. So we do have a free trial version. You can download a Windows free trial or you can choose one of their plans or if you're a business, you can contact them and they also have an educational version coming up. So I downloaded the free trial version. So what I like about Verus is that it actually uses the geometry and the metadata within your project in order to generate the images and the prompts that you give to it. So once you've downloaded the application, all you have to do is to go to Evolve Lab tab on Revit and then start the application. Okay, so once you've started uh, the application, you already have the view that's on Revit. It automatically uh, appears in here and then it has a few options. Geometry Override. The higher this is, the more it will change the geometry of the building and the lower it is, the less changes it will make. The same goes for the material, which is the style, the power that uh, the prompt is going to have on the image. So as you can see, it is cropped in a certain way and I can't see all of my building in here. So what I have to do is to go back to Revit and just crop it up enough that it shows on the Evolve Lab. So here we go. I just have to refresh it and there you are. So the next phase is uh, to use the prompts. If you were going to do an interior rendering, you will click on interior, but we're not going to do that. I already have some prompts written uh, ready for this tutorial. So what I'm going to do, the first uh, prompt that I'm going to use is a modern wood cabin with forest during summer, trees, sun and minimal exterior. So let's try that in now. Uh, see what it gives us okay and let me just bring this up and render it okay as you can see you can see what it gives me with this prompt let me go ahead and change it up and change it uh, to winter and see what it gives me so the prompt strength is at 60 percent as you can see Okay, so in winter, this is kind of what it gives me. Let me try it and say snow, trees, and sun. Okay, as you can see, this is the version that it gives me with the snow and the trees and sun. As you can see, it's a very, 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 very good tool that can help you choose the type of facet you want and explore your design options. Now that we've tried it with an exterior rendering, let's go ahead and try an interior view and see what it gives us. So I'm going to go back to Revit again and just go to the living room view. And please make sure that all of your uh, views are in realistic most of the time. This will really help out with the rendering. So we're going to go back to Evolve Lab again. Let me just go back to it and just refresh it. It's going to refresh to this page. OK, so as you can see, it cropped out the page and I already have a script that is ready. Let's try this script. Modern African style wood living room with forest view. Let's try this prompt. And this time we're going to make sure that the prompt strength is at 100%. Paste and please make sure the interior tab is selected and let me pull it up and render. Okay, so as you can see, this is what it gives us. So let's try and add another thing. Let's say living room with forest view and white marble flooring. this is the outcome of the uh, white marble flooring version it does help you to choose the materials you want for your building and what you're trying to do and imagine and see how good it would look without having to design and then trying and trying it again it's a very good tool in my opinion but i don't think it can really replace your uh, own 
skills of designing your building as you can see it has uh, some defects in here if you look at the images they're not all the way through and accurate so i would only use this to get inspiration but i wouldn't rely on it as a main rendering uh, tool really and thank you for watching see you in the next video